Who's got a question? Is Dino? Dino like a joke? <laughs> Is he really a joke? Is that the question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Um, actually, Dana White's actually a really good guy. He cares a lot about the fighters. She just got to be nice to him back, you know? <laughs> He'll be a jerk and be a jerk to him. It's about it. It's kind of like everybody else, right? Do you have your belt? I did not bring it because it would have been hard to get it all the way over here. <laughs> your customs and everything. I don't know what they would have done. They might not have let me stay over here. Typically, two days before the fight, how much weight, if any, do you cut at all? Uh, before a fight, two days before a fight, I usually been about, I'd say, eight pounds. Um, when I start cutting weight, I walk around at about 100, between 158 to 160. And I fight at phantom weight, which is 135 pounds. So I cut roughly between 25 and 30 pounds, but that's like way out. It's a, it's a process. As you train, uh, weight comes off, you get your body fat percentage down to a certain point, which I try to get my body, it's a, it's a technique to cut weight. So when you're as heavy as I am trying to drop 35, there's a plan that you gotta go by, that way you perform at your highest level on one night, and there's a peaking process and everything else. It's, it's a, there's a lot more to it than people want to know. So uh, I'll start about 30, 25 to 30 over, I'll get within 
about 15 pounds five days out of the fight. And the last 15 pounds that I cut uh, is all water weight because I have no fat on my body at that point. And then that's the hard part. <laughs> Toughest fight so far, I would have to say. Man. Okay. Uh, in the UFC, my toughest fight so far would probably be uh, against uh, Uriah Faber, I would have to say. He was, he was a good opponent. He put up a good fight. It was a competitive match. And he's just a seasoned veteran, so he was never real shook in it. I just had to beat him up for as many rounds as possible and was able to do it. Uh, <laughs> But outside of the UFC, and actually much harder than the, fa than the fight with Faber was a guy named Dave Esquerra that I fought. And that's when nobody really knew who I was, and I was still coming up in the ranks. And uh, that was a three-round war. I got my nose broken. I broke all his germs. And, like, my eyes were swollen shut. I, I was a mess after that fight. That was my hardest fight for sure by far. Wow. Wow. I'm from Tech. Uh, I was born in San Diego, California, and I was raised in Tucson, Arizona. From like, I'd say about two years old until I was 21, and then I decided to leave Tucson to follow my dream and become a mixed martial artist. And I moved to California, and now I've lived there for about six years, and that's where I train. And I own a gym called Alliance Training Center, and um, it's all monstered out, and uh, you know, but that's what it is. When I'm done with my uh, martial arts career, um, I plan on, you know, I, I've got a lot of avenues. I'm ho I, I try not to write, have an idea of exactly what I'm going to do because I feel like there's so many options. As you live life and you get older and older, you start learning that you don't know what you're going to do. You just kind of go with it. You take what's given you and you run with it. You never uh, draw the line anywhere. You just keep open minded and you'll live best. I got started wrestling. My opinion is wrestling is, the, is, in my opinion, my humble opinion, wrestling is the base of all martial arts because it can control if you're on the ground or standing. So that being said, that's what I started with, was uh, wrestling. And I started wrestling when I was about 10 years old, and I haven't stopped. I'm 28 now, so I don't know. I'm not really good at math. Maybe you kids can do that for me. But, um, Wrestling is, is my main base martial art, and then I based, I picked everything up around and added to it. I want to be it. Any more questions? Flying champion. <laughs> he wants to be a fighter champion. <laughs> then do it, buddy. You can stop. I don't want to be ready. You got that orange belt going. <laughs> what age did you start? I started, uh, like I said, I started wrestling at about 10 years old in junior high. My first wrestling match was, I was 10 years old, and I got a crack kick out of it, and it beat me up pretty good. And it made me pretty tough, though. I, I don't know, I think I liked, I liked getting beat up, and it made me want to learn more, because I, I couldn't figure out how to win, so it made me interested. When I lost, it made me want to win more. I, what it is, is in order to be good, you got to hate losing more than you even like winning. And you'll get good at it. Do you ever get nervous before a fight? Absolutely. If you're not nervous, you're not sharp. In my opinion. It's all opinion based. These are all opinions, you know? Um, when I say what I say, it's like some people don't get nervous. So I've talked to MMA fighters and say, I don't know how you, why or, or how you get nervous. And you've done this every day. I've been nervous all the time before a fight. I'm ready to kill the guy, you know? I freak out before I fight. I'm in the back freaking out. I'm just doing what I can to make sure, uh, uh, make sure I'm in great shape so that I know as long as I never get tired, you won't beat me. <laughs> and that gives me confidence, so I'm not as nervous. But definitely, nerves are a good thing. You've got to accept them and thank yourself for them. It's your body's defense mechanism telling you, please don't hurt yourself. You turn it off and say, thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and not be scared anymore. I'm going to beat this guy up.